So the next thing we want to do is we're going to sand down this bumper and we're going to prime it and paint it again. We just got this last year. It's new to us, but not new. It only has like 75,000 miles on it though. So it's still in good shape. Then we're going to clean up the box too. Closely, there's all kinds of chips and dings and rust spots. I'm gonna clean it up, get it looking sharp. Debating doing a second coat, but I don't know if I need to yet. It's drying right now. Man, that already looks so much better. Now I kind of want to paint everything.
Okay, back at it, day two. Um, I found out the hard way when I got home last night that if you don't wear gloves and put a hat on, you get black paint all over you, <laughs> as well as wear a mask that's all over my face. I couldn't tell going through the day, but when I got home, I could definitely tell. But I probably got some weird looks because I went into a store on the way home and uh, yeah, it looked weird. But uh, pretty happy with how it's turning out so far. Uh, a little close up. You can see like all, all this like, it looks like it's running and whatnot, but I just want to point out that that was how the truck was when we bought it. Um, we know that it's not gonna, you know, look super high quality, but this is just is what it is. I tried grinding it off with the grinding wheel as best I could, but all these bumps are just, they're on there and I can't get them off. And it's what it is. I'm not gonna pay thousands of dollars to have this done. All we want is to get the rust off and make it look, you know, presentable. Make it look more professional. I got a little bit more to do on this side right here. A little bit over here yet. And then I'm going to start on the back. Uh, not doing this side, do, do the opposite side of that once we flip it up. But you can see all the rust that's on here. This is what we want to get off, and it's what we've already gotten off on the other side. Now I gotta do this step yet, too. After we do that, we'll be done. All right, now you can see I'm not getting too carried away with any of this right here because it's on the inside and it's going to be scratched up with rocks and mulch and concrete and all that stuff. So we're not worrying about the inside. All right here, <clears throat> what I'm doing is I'm just getting the rust off on the hinge. Since it's a hinge, obviously it's gonna be one of the most important parts of this door that folds up. So I don't want this rusting. There, now when we flip this up, I'll get the other side. All right, I got it all taped off now. I'm gonna go all the other side up there. All taped off, all sanded down. I took the uh, tailgate off, so I'll do that over here. And we're ready to get going. you're wondering how I'm getting that time-lapse shot, check it out. <laughs> hey, 
You gotta do what you gotta do. So remember how I said I wanted to wear a mask to keep the pain off me? Well, you see just how well that worked. Yeah, works real good. Hmm. I gotta imagine that COVID particulates are smaller than the paint. Yet, that mask is supposed to work, so. All right, here is the finished product. Turned out pretty good for what we were going for. I mean, it's gonna get dinged up this whole year anyway, so. Got to do down here a little bit yet. <clears throat> I'll do that on Monday. I was able to do all of this for, I think it was $96, under $100. And the truck looks like it's brand new. All right, I'm tired. It's Friday, I need a beer. I'm covered in paint. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet already, please subscribe. And make sure you click all, that way you don't miss any videos coming. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching.